Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some news, but before we get into that, I just want to take a minute and ask you guys to make sure that if you like this type of content, that you hit that subscribe button, as well as the bell next to it to be notified of any videos I post here on the channel. And if you could do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up, you would help the channel out greatly each and every time you do that. So anyway, on with the news. The very first thing that I have is a really cool Spino Raptor head sculpt that was actually created by Dino Mike Mac. You may remember numerous times I've mentioned Dino Mike Mac through the past of these news videos as he has supplied me with plenty of Mattel stories and information over the years. And he has actually just recently launched a website which I promoted in the community section of this channel. Well on that website he has a custom made Spino Raptor head that you can basically order the STL file for it's a free download and then you just have to have it printed out. This head sculpt works with Savage Strike Velociraptor figures from Mattel and here you can kind of see an image of it to give you an idea of what it looks like when it's actually complete and uh, basically it's the head sculpt for a Spino Raptor, a custom Spino Raptor. You would obviously have to apply a sail to the back but already having a jump start on the head sculpt is definitely really cool so I did want to let you guys know about this. Again it's a free download if it's something you are interested in or if you have the capability of 3D printing, make sure you check that out as I will leave a link in the description. And then as far as Marco Makes goes, he has recently launched his Mini Soars line. He has three different mini dinosaurs in this line already and they each look phenomenal. Again, 3D printed models from Marco Makes you can purchase right now. As you can see, you have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a beautiful Rexy model. You also have a Velociraptor Blue as well as a Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus, which that Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus is definitely the most beautiful version I've seen so far, perfectly replicating the Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus sculpt, but then again, so does Velociraptor Blue, and so does the Rexy model. So, more gorgeous work on the part of Marco makes as per usual. These are actually unpainted models, so you would have to paint them yourself if you do buy them, but I highly recommend doing that because painting dinosaur models is definitely the most addicting thing I think I've ever encountered aside from collecting dinosaurs, and those two just kind of go together. So absolutely awesome work again definitely check those out make sure you order yourself some of the marco makes mini sores because they look fantastic and i personally cannot wait to get my hands on them and review them here for you guys on the channel but just like with the dino mike max spino raptor head sculpt file i will include a link in the description for you to head on over to where you can purchase these three beautiful dinosaur models from marco makes right now and speaking of Marco Makes, if you would like a really cool sneak peek at the future of the Rubber Soars Raptor series, here is one of the most beautiful images that you will ever see. As you can see, he has gone ahead and created pretty much every single style Velociraptor from Jurassic Park all the way up until Jurassic World here, and he intends on releasing each and every one of these as time goes on, so there is just a ton of of raptors coming from him but you can also see that each and every one is sculpted perfectly to replicate the raptor from the film something that we don't get really from Mattel as they just kind of reuse raptor sculpts he does not do that he captures every ounce of screen accuracy within his models and these right here I would think just looking at them next to each other is a picture perfect representation of that fact and you can see each and every one is just gorgeous as far as both the sculpt but the paintwork as well. Marco has nailed the paintwork on every single one of these to look exactly like they look in the films. Incredible for sure and as usual Marco makes continues to blow my mind with just how unbelievable his work truly is. Make sure you keep checking back and following Marco on all of his social media outlets as well as YouTube to keep up to date with when these will release. And then as far as PNSO goes, they have officially announced yet another model, which is pretty much almost a weekly thing I would say, and it has been for quite some time, but this one is definitely in my opinion the best version of this species that any company has released yet. That can be said for a lot of the PNSO models, but they are releasing a Dunkleosteus, and man does it look 
unbelievable. Just the absolute most gorgeous Dunkel Osteus model that I've ever seen in my entire life. And so much incredible movement shown within the sculpt of this with the really cool curve in the body. I love the wrinkles that you can see in the stomach region, as well as the super nice looking paint scheme they've applied to it. A really nice natural looking paint scheme. And this model, in my opinion, is one of the most exciting PNSO models to come along in quite some time, which is really saying something because they always release really exciting models. But this thing is just of another level of beauty. It's just absolutely incredible in every sense of the word. This is actually already available on both their Amazon PNSO store and their AliExpress store as well as Dan's Dinosaurs so make sure you check this out on one of those three websites and speaking of PNSO on Dan's Dinosaurs, Dan's Dinosaurs has recently supplied me with a really cool discount code so if you apply the code Andy at checkout when you are ordering any PNSO model you will receive five dollars off right now of any PNSO model that you order on Dan's Dinosaurs. Again, this is a really cool exclusive promotion here for Andy's Dinosaur Reviews thanks to Dan's Dinosaurs. So make sure you utilize that code, save yourself a little money on a beautiful PNSO model and head over there right now. Again, don't forget to apply the code Andy at checkout to get yourself that awesome discount and do it sooner rather than later because that promotional code will not last long. And then as far as Nanmu goes, they have unveiled another variant of their Parasaurolophus, and I could not be more excited about it. As you can see, it is a deceased Parasaurolophus, obviously a Jurassic Park style Parasaurolophus, perfectly in my opinion replicating the deceased Parasaurolophus that was seen in the Lost World Jurassic Park. So anybody that is a huge fan of that movie will instantly be in love with this model like I am. It just looks fantastic, and this is... Definitely something that I'll be really excited to see with paintwork on it because there definitely seems to be, you know, a lot of kind of like blood and guts that should be displayed on this model. So I'll really be intrigued to see just how realistic it looks on the final product. Nanmu has released injured dinosaurs prior to this, but they haven't released a fully deceased dinosaur. So this is definitely a first for them, and I am beyond excited to see exactly how it turns out. And then as far as Mattel goes, and this one, a huge thank you goes out to Alpha Raptor Reviews on Instagram and Cordelia underscore the underscore trike for actually sorting all of this out. But we have some images of the current new minis that are coming out from Mattel. But on top of having the really cool image showing us all the different variations, which look fantastic, cannot wait to get my hands on all of them. We have the full list of codes for said figures, as you can see, the codes for each and every one of them. So if you happen to encounter these in the wild somewhere, make sure you utilize this sheet right here, which will again tell you which dinosaurs are in which packaging. So you don't have to spend a million dollars buying repeats and you can just get the ones that you want. Awesome to supply us with that information. A huge thank you goes out to them. And then thanks to Collect Jurassic for this information, but we actually have some images of some more new Snap Squad figures as we have a very interesting Tyrannosaurus Rex, a greenish Rex, which looks pretty nice. You know, nothing, you know, super crazy or anything brand new. We also have another of these Dimorphodon figures and... He looks, you know, pretty much disappointed with us. We must have said something that he didn't like. And then we have another version of the Mosasaurus who looks like potentially the happiest Mosasaurus of all time. So some more fun snap squads. Nothing again incredible, but definitely what I thought was worth mentioning. And then speaking of new figures, a combination of credit goes out to Jurassic Outpost and Collect Jurassic for these images and information. But we have a ton of new figures coming from Mattel that have just been revealed and some very exciting ones even including new species. The very first one is probably the least interesting of all which we can see is a Velociraptor. Kind of a Velociraptor Charlie type of a look I would say. Definitely a nice looking version of Charlie if that were the intentions of making this figure but we've had about six bajillion Velociraptors already and it's again the same sculpt that we've had about six million times already so nothing super amazing with this one but you know it looks okay. We also have another one that's not so great but at the same time it's pretty interesting because it's one of the pterosaur sculpts that they've you know utilized the least 
but uh, it's a really nice looking ram for Rinkus, and I definitely love the paint scheme of this one. This is easily, in my opinion, the nicest version of the ramp for Rinkus that we've had so far. So this is one, although it's not super exciting, being just a straight up repaint of a very cool pterosaur. It's, you know, something that, in my opinion, is the best version of it so far. So it's definitely something I can't wait to get my hands on. And we will also have another version of the Mononychus, which is definitely pretty cool because we haven't had too many of those. And I really, really like the paint scheme on this one. Probably my favorite version of the Mononychus so far. Just a gorgeous looking paint scheme on that one. And then as far as the new figure goes for this style, we've got a Shringosaurus, which is definitely a very unexpected one. Really did not see that coming. And it definitely looks interesting, I will say that. I'm not too sure honestly how to feel about this one. It looks pretty fun. I absolutely love the fact that they are making a Shringosaurus. However, the sculpt looks a little strange to me, but at the same time, it looks like a ton of fun. So this is one that although he looks a little weird, I'm definitely excited about. We also have another version of the Styracosaurus coming out with, again, a somewhat similar looking paint scheme to the previous versions. Probably, again, the nicest that I think the Styracosaurus has looked so far. I really love the paint apps that we have on this one. Really nice naturalistic tones and a good bit of flashiness there in the frill area. Definitely a really nice looking Styracosaurus. We also have another version of the Monolophosaurus, which after the appearance of the Monolophosaurus in Camp Cretaceous Season 3, I can tell that Mattel is loving the Monolophosaurus right now, but it looks really nice. Again, a pretty nice looking paint scheme on it. I really love the tones of green. I really wish they would have used more of the darker green that we see on the back out onto the tail. I really think that could have made it a lot nicer, but still pretty cool. Then we have the Mashiachosaurus, which is making its second appearance, and we haven't even received the first one yet, but this one looks fantastic as far as the paint scheme goes. I really like the tones of color on this one. I'm really intrigued to see how these actually translate onto the models themselves in person on the final product, but they definitely look nice on these prototypes. And then in a really exciting one for some people, the Tanistrophius is finally making a return to the Jurassic line, and it looks very interesting, I will say that. Certainly not the best Tanistrophius out there, and that head sculpt from this vantage point does not look very good to me, but I am still really excited in general to have one because it's something that has been kind of rumored for quite some time so it's nice to see it actually materialize here with a figure but this is one that I feel like maybe it might look a little ugly due to the actual image used and we might have to see the final product to really tell. We also are going to be getting another Ceratosaurus, which looks really quite nice, actually. Again, I love the green paint scheme on this, and we can see that it's the newer Ceratosaurus sculpt, which I am a big fan of, so I definitely am excited to see that sculpt get more love. I wish they would have taken off that kind of button off of the back there as it definitely looks like it is still present but still a pretty nice looking figure and the battle at big rock allosaurus will be making a return and we can see that this version actually looks really nice as far as the paintwork goes not honestly all that different from the initial release but definitely a really nice looking figure that i'll be excited to pick up you also have the Kentrosaurus, which this one is fantastic looking. I really, really want to get a hold of this one because I think the sculpt looks beautiful. The paintwork looks beautiful. Really nice, natural looking paintwork on this one. So that is a really, really cool release coming from Mattel. And then we also have some more kind of like Dino 2 packs with humans as we have Darius with a different variant of the Brachiosaurus. So again, another figure that we don't even actually have already here in the United States, but it's got a second version coming, but knowing the Brachiosaurus, I've already seen some images of it and everything. I know that's going to be a really anticipated figure. It's going to be one that people will, without question, love. So I can't wait to get this greenish version now, as well as the other version in my hands. We've also got Sammy finally getting a figure here from Camp Cretaceous, so that is super exciting to now have a Sammy figure as that was one of the few that was left out of the previous releases. And you can see that she comes with two comp Signathus, which actually it appears as though the compies have a little bit of a difference in paint, which is nice to see, you know, something different with those compies. 
as well as a pretty boring Velociraptor. The Raptor looks like it has a, you know, somewhat fun paint scheme, but who really needs more Raptor figures from Mattel at this point, or at least of the same sculpt that they've reused a million times. And then we also have Brooklyn, who is coming with, of course, a little scooter there, as well as another version of the Monolophosaurus. I thought it was quite interesting that the Monolophosaurus we had seen earlier, the other repaint, was the older sculpt, but this one is the newer sculpt, so that's very interesting to note. And I definitely like the coloration of this one. Kind of makes it look like he's wearing shoes or boots or something, but it still looks pretty fun, and I'll be intrigued to see, you know, a different angle of it to see just how nice it looks overall. So a lot coming from from Mattel that I'm really interested in getting my hands on as these figures start to trickle out and show up in store. So as of right now guys that's all the news I've got when more comes out I'll be sure to send it your way but until then please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.